Hi ladies, do you get yourself sometimes in an uncomfortable situation on the dance floor with the guys and you just don't know what the right thing is to say in those moments? Well, I have a few scenarios for you and I hope I can help you out. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Rasa the Dancer is here. Now it came to my attention that <laughs> some of you, my ladies, are struggling with certain social situations on the dance floor uh, or just in the dance scene. And I have quite a few students that are asking me these questions, so of course I'm trying to make a video because if there's few, I'm sure there is many that struggle with the same thing. Now I have made some videos before where I presented certain situations that might happen and how I would deal with it. But these examples that I'm gonna talk about is literally the questions I have from my students. And I just wanna tell you how I would respond and give you a little bit of context that hopefully it will help you out in those situations as well. So without further ado, we're gonna just dive into it. And of course, if you still haven't subscribed, please do that now, show the like button and all of the rest show some love so we can keep on growing this channel all right so here's the first situation and this situation actually has happened to me quite a few times maybe not everybody experienced it but quite a few do so if you are dancing and then suddenly the song finished the next song is about to play and two guys at the same time ask you to dance what do you do who do you choose and how do you let somebody down and all of the rest, okay? So two guys at the same time asking you to dance. What a privilege and yet, <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> how do you make sure that nobody is uncomfortable? So I would say I have a few different things. A lot of the times, even if it's two guys asking you to dance at once, there's always that, that one that you were the C first or the one that holds your hand first or something. So if you had like a little indication that somebody was there just a little bit earlier, I tend to uh, take that person's hand, look to the other person who was very close and say, I'm so sorry, I will dance with him, but I will find you later, you know? And that's, that's about it and smile and, you know, no matter how uncomfortable it is. But then afterwards, I make sure I do try to find that other person and, and come to that person and say, hey, you know, should we dance now? And, and just to make them feel like you do remember and it's just a nice gesture, right? Now, if you're in a situation where you, nobody's first, it's just both from the other, both from both sides and you're just standing there. The other thing that I tend to do, if it's really confusing, I tend to just stand there and, and, and let them work it out. I look at them, so who is gonna be first? And that's it. And then there's always that one person who will be like, it's okay, you, you dance with her first. You know, there's always that one person. There's never on the dance scene, you know, it's not an actual battlefield. Nobody on the dance scene, the guys are not just going, no, I will dance first, no, I, it, you know, we're all very friendly and, and, and normal human beings most of the time. So usually they work it out between them. And then again, I try to do the same thing. Whoever I dance with, I try to find the other person later and try to make sure because I just feel it's a nice thing to do. And, and I would like to do that and just to not make them feel like, oh, you know, there was a choice and uh, I had a chance and then, you know, all that kind of thing, all friendly and everything. But if, if I had a glimpse that somebody was first, I will choose them and then, you know, tell the other person I'll be back and I really try to find them. And if it's just like at the same time, I step away and I let them sort it out and then I still try to find the other person. So I think for me, like there's nothing to worry about. These things nice and flattering when two people are once ask you to dance. Just stay cool and, and just do the right thing. And the most important thing is if you promise to find the other person, find them, okay? Or don't promise if you don't think you're gonna be looking for them. Just say, I'm so sorry, that person was first. But if you promise, you have to find them. All right, here's the second situation. 
let's say you are talking with somebody whether it's a friend or or just somebody you like or whatever and you're talking with them by the bar away from the dance floor or at the table somewhere away from the dance floor and you're having a conversation and suddenly another guy comes and asks you to dance um, what do you do then? You're in the middle of conversation and the person asks you to dance and you don't want to rude and say no to a dance, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So with this one, I'm actually quite ruthless because no offense to anybody, but if you do not have some sort of social education where you understand that if somebody is away from the dance floor, with another person in the middle of a conversation that that's not the time to ask somebody to dance well that's on that person right i'm never rude i always come from a good place i always smile but i would turn around to that person and say i'm so sorry i'm in the middle of a conversation once i finish i'll be happy to dance with you and i and that's it and i do not burden myself with any guilt because that person should really understand the etiquette like there's so many people on the dance floor to dance with so it's not for lack of people that they need to ask you to dance but if they really want to dance with you they have to wait now of course if you come and you sit and talk the whole night maybe they feel like they're gonna be missed out on the chance and they go for it you know these things happen but if you actually just sat down to talk to somebody and you're dancing most of the time, listen, it, it, that person doesn't understand boundaries. That is not on you to feel bad. Always be nice. Look at them and say, I'm so sorry. I'm in the middle of conversation. Once I'm finished, I'll be happy to dance with you. And that's it. None of your concern. Yes. So guys, don't be, you know, one of those people who you can see clearly somebody's busy. And then you are, you know, just going for them anyway. Like, come on, you know, just think. All right, and now the third situation, okay? Third and final situation for this video. And it's funny because these are your questions, but actually I've been in all of these situations myself. No. <laughs> so uh, that's why I'm making this video. I'm thinking I've been through it. Somebody's asking questions. Clearly there's a lot of people who've been through it. Anyway, let's get back to the situation. So let's say you are dancing with somebody and you like them, you know, you feel something inside the butterfly and you'd like to keep dancing with that person, maybe a second dance and a third dance. And maybe somebody else is asking you to dance after the first dance you had with that first person. It's a whole mess. You like somebody, you would like to keep dancing with somebody how to make this whole situation okay so in general there is no right answer because first and foremost you can't read other people's mind you might be having a dance and you feel like you know you're connecting on another level <laughs> and you'd like to keep dancing with them but that person might not feel the same so what i suggest in general uh, leave the multiple dances in a row for later in the night okay so how it usually works uh, if you're dancing with somebody and you really you know you like them one dance is enough give them a hug make sure you smile they get some vibes yes then you go off and you dance with other people then if the person was into dancing with you I guarantee they will ask you again I guarantee it if they don't ask you again then just forget about it okay but they will ask you again if they ask you again you have another dance maybe like a two second longer hug you smile you move along you dance again still cool play cool towards the end of the night when the night is later some people leave there's more space on the dance floor and you already by that time where they exchange few words you whether caught a vibe of how that person feels and there's you know there's people around and then if they ask you to dance and you finish the dance and the next song starts if they don't let go of you you continue dancing you know no guilt <laughs> I don't know what I'm giving you the right advice here, but this is, if you, listen, 
I'm not pretending. I'm not going to be one of those people to say, well, you shouldn't listen. I'm a human being. I have been dancing for like all my life. I have been through things. Okay. And I know most of you have been in similar situations. So don't lie to me. Don't you lie to me. So I'm just saying, don't be desperate. Don't rush into things. Make sure you're aware that the situation that you're feeling is the same that the other person is feeling. And without insulting other people around or denying them dances and making yourself feel bad about it or make people talk about you all, oh, look at that. But it, it shouldn't matter. But overall, just assess the situation. Have that one dance, nice hug, maybe a second dance, maybe a longer hug, smile. Allow that person to create space for you where you would feel this is real. He wanted to dance those couple more dances with me. We have the connection, you know, it is nice. It is allowed, you know, to, to create a little bit more intimate bond through dancing. Uh, but towards the end of the night is the best time because it's less people. You already dance with other people. You don't look you know, uh, desperate, you don't look like you clinged on, you got to know that person, whether he's interested in having more dances or not. So this is my advice. If you, you know, feel the feelings and you want to have more dances with the same person continuously, at least do these things to have your conscience clear, to make sure the other person is the same boat, there's less people around and, and you know, it's all good in the hood. Guys, I swear I love these kind of topics. I don't know why it makes me smile and laugh because as I say, I've been through something. Some of the things that I have experienced, woo you are yet to ask me about. So leave a comment if you have any other situations that you have been in and you didn't know how to respond or you'd like my opinion about how I would respond. That's what the comments are there for. So let's make more videos like this. And so maybe more people who are in certain situations could watch it and be like, oh, okay, I'm not my own and maybe this is the way I should have responded. So leave some comments for me, guys, and I love you so much for watching. And if you want more videos like this as well, I have made a few and they're going to be attached here. So just keep on watching and I will see you very soon.